Good day. Welcome to King of Almost Everything. Today, I want to take a look at the 151 Nintendo Enter- Entertainment System Collection. See, this is uh, classic NES games, 150 and 1. It's a really nice little cartridge. It's very heavy, and if you look kind of close, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a battery inside here. So it's not flash memory, it's the uh, games are on a ROM or a ROM, and they're using that to do the saves. So instead of flash memory, they use the battery. So probably a way to save some money, maybe. I don't know. Maybe when this came out, it was cheaper to put a battery and then get flash memory. Hard to say, but it is a nice color, see-through, transparent. They do a nice job. It's actually really, really heavy duty. So that's kind of cool. And this was actually the collector's edition. So you know, the collector's edition of a pirate cart. There you go. And I think the collector's edition was the box. Came with the box instead of just a little, the little, the little box. But it's nice that they gave you a box for it, and you can kind of see it has for the Game Boy Advance or a, a, a DS cartridge, or see, yeah, DS, yeah, this is the DS cartridge. So it's kind of like a dual purpose. They probably just put the, bought the cart, the box, put the sleeve in, but still, pretty nice job on the sleeve. It'll probably look good on your if you collect uh, Game Boy Advance games. Probably a nice uh, addition to your collection. But we're gonna play a little bit. Um, I really like the uh, Game Boy Advance. These are just loose ones. So I like I usually buy games because they're dirt cheap, you know. You can get like Lord of the Rings, uh, Rayman, Pokemon. These are usually a little more expensive. But most of these games are like a dollar a piece, two bucks a piece. And or even as a Simpsons Road Rage, great game. Uh, some games are crap, you know. These were some lots that I got. They put some crap games in there with some good ones. But, you know, for a buck or two, you, know, you really can't go wrong. Uh, these are all just, like I said, all just loose ones in a you know, little tub. But sometimes you want to, if you're going to travel, you just want one cartridge. Uh, that's kind of a good way. I did a review on this one, the 3, 6, 9, and 1. This is a good cartridge. This, this was mostly Game Boy Advance games, but there were some NES and some other, I don't know, whatever they were, some clone things. A lot of mismarked things, but... You know, this is a cheapo cartridge. This is a cheapo cartridge, too, maybe 20 bucks. Uh, I can't remember if this came off eBay or China, somewhere. But let's play a little bit here. I'll just kind of give you a taste. I'm not going to spend a lot of time playing, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. And this one's kind of neat because what it does, it um, as you scroll down through it, it kind of gives you like a preview in the background so you can kind of see uh, what the games look like, or at least the title screen. Uh, I played a few of these games. They're all pretty good. They aren't NES games, so uh, let's just say Bubble Bobble. We'll start. Okay. There we go. So you can kind of see it's uh, NES ROM. But what's kind of cool, this is actually using, appears to be pocket NES because if you hit both buttons, both bumpers, takes you out into the uh, like a main menu where you can exit out so you don't have to turn this off and on and get back to the main screen. Uh, see, there's a lot of really good games in here. I don't see any that I really don't recognize. There's Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Dr. Mario. You can see it gives you the hard to tell. So that is Dr. Mario. And like I said, if you want to get out, both bumpers takes you to the this little sub-menu. Get you out. Uh, let's see. Dragon Warrior, DuckTales, Galaga, Ghosts and Goblins. Wait, I see Ghosts and Goblins. Ghosts and Goblins, Ghostbusters. That's cool. So they give you a nice selection of games. Uh, Legend of Zelda, Zelda 2, Outlands, uh, Mega Man, Metal Gear. This Pac-Man, New Ghostbusters, never heard of that. Uh, so I'm not going to play any of these games, just kind of thought I'd go into a couple just so you can kind of get a taste of what it is. And this, like I said, these are NES ROMs, so if you play it on the NES, uh, you won't be too surprised. And you can usually tell when they do stuff like, um, stuff like uh, put NES ROMs on a Game Boy Advance, you can tell, especially like these, these cartridges here, this one. It'll squish it, so the text will be a little squished because it doesn't have the same resolution. But it's still it's still playable and a good game. 
Xevious, my favorite game. We gotta play this one. Let's play this one. You get the idea. I suck at it. But it is definitely a neat little cartridge to get. Um, especially, I said, if you like the uh, NES stuff, you want to play your NES games on your Game Boy Advance and portable. So that's really cool that you can do that. Um, like I said, I think this was maybe 20 bucks. You know, pretty good deal for what it is. And you get the little case, so if you put it in your collection with other games, uh, especially if you collect them, you can just jam them in there. So that's that's neat that they did that. And I don't think there's any the difference between the cartridge and the cartridge and the uh, the case. At least when, when I bought it, I think it was the same price. So I was like, give me the case. And uh, definitely definitely worth the value. So and if you're interested, you know, that was just kind of a quick play. Kind of just a quick walkthrough and show you what it looks like for the, um, the Nintendo or 151 Nintendo Entertainment System collection. Get yourself a copy. Have a great day.